All right, welcome to TechGrill. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom registration form for WooCommerce. So using this custom registration form, you can not only add more fields within your WooCommerce registration, but what you can also do is you can collect your users' shipping and billing information. So once they have created an account, basically during their checkout process, the shipping and the billing information will be filled out for them automatically. And if they wish to change it, they can. But you know, this just smooths out the checkout process. So I'll show you how to do that using a free plugin. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, to get started, we're gonna to have to install the plugin so go into plugins then click on add new plugin now here we're gonna look for a registration form for WooCommerce so this right here is the plugin simply click on install now now you can see that it has less than 10 active installations this is because this is a free plugin that was just recently released two weeks ago now this plugin has a premium version which is on the WooCommerce store so yeah, that explains the less active installations. But yeah, this is basically the trimmed down free version of that plugin. So once installed and activated, you'll see registration form tab right here. So when you click on it, now this plugin already gives you a default form, but for this video, I'm going to add a new form. Simply click on add form. You can create multiple forms. I'm simply gonna name this form registration form, reg form. These three fields are the three default fields that are used by WooCommerce. Now these fields are locked so that you don't accidentally delete them because these three fields are important and mandatory for WooCommerce. So yeah, that's why. But besides these, what you can do is you can add from all these different fields. And all these fields are available in the free version. Now there is more in the pro version. All right, so here are the default fields. Suppose I want my users to add in their first name and their last name. I can simply drag the fields. And if I want to add a user bio, I can do the same thing here as well. And suppose I want some of these custom fields like secondary email, input, a text area, number. I think number would be important. Yeah, just add in their phone number. And what I can also do is I can make changes to the label right here. So I'm just going to type type in phone for this one. But if you want other interactive fields like checkbox, radio, or select, you can add those as well. But for this video, I don't think I need any of these. But the most important fields that you would actually be using if you're using this plugin are going to be the WooCommerce billing fields and the WooCommerce shipping fields. But the main purpose for these fields are when a user registers, they'll fill out this information. And whenever they go to buy something from your e-commerce store, then all the billing and the shipping information will be filled in automatically for them, just so they have a swift checkout process. So yeah, that's why we have these fields. All right, so for this video, I'll divide the form into sections. The first one is going to be the user's generic account details, right? So I'm just gonna type in account details for this one, and I'm going to duplicate this field again, drag it right there. And the next one is going to be billing details. And below this billing details heading, I'm going to drag in all the necessary billing fields, which I'll do that and I'll get back to you. All right, so here you go. I added all the necessary billing fields, first name, last name, email address, phone, country, street address, one, two, city, and zip code. So these are all the billing fields. Now in certain instances, what might happen is that a user might bill to a certain address, but they want the product. If you are selling physical products, the user would want them shipped to a different address. You'll have to use the separate shipping address fields. So for that, we'll first add a toggle. We'll add a separate shipping toggle right here. And what we'll do is normally drag in all the shipping address fields, right? And you know, again, your first name, last name, basically all the fields they have added for billing, you'll again have to add those for shipping. Now I'm not gonna do all the shipping address hassle for now. So I'll show you a demo of what the shipping address toggle and the shipping address looks like in a sec. But before that, I can't help but notice this form is a bit too long. Like, you know, users will have to scroll down quite a bit. So I think I want to fix that first. So I think I want to make this form double columned. So for that, basically, I'll have to select the field and maybe I'll put the field down to 50%. And yeah, the forms will be divided into two columns, right? All right, so I'm going to make this form double columned and then I'll get right back to you. Basically, I'm just, you know, changing the field with to 50%, that's all. All right, there you go. I've made this form double columned. So yeah, now it looks a bit more concise and yeah, I've set this country fields width to 100% just for style, all right? There's nothing more to it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now, I don't think I need to say this. Basically, if you want to access any of the settings for any of the fields, then you'll have to select the field. Then within the block settings, you know, you can change its label. If you want to add a placeholder text, like, you know, John Doe, then you can do that as well. Now, if you want to hide the label for whatever reason, you can do that. If you want to make this field required, then you can do that as well. Simply toggle the required button. If you want to add a description so that, you know, users don't get confused when filling out the form for any of the fields, then you can do that as well. But yeah, besides that, you can add custom CSS classes if you want to customize the form with your own CSS code. So yeah, that facility is there as well. I'm just gonna update this form because right now it looks just fine. Now we're gonna have to assign this form in two different places. First things first, make sure you copy the shortcode. Now let's get back to our work 
WordPress dashboard. And now what we're going to do is we're going to firstly replace the form, go to registration form settings, and then replace the default WooCommerce registration form. Basically select the form that you just created, reg form in my case, and save changes. Now you see an option here for checkout form. This is only available in the premium version, but there is that feature if you want to upgrade to the premium version in the future. And here within general settings, what you can do is you can set up Google recapture for your forms. So, you know, once you put in your site key and your secret key from your Google console, I suppose, then the Google recapture will be shown in your forms. Yeah, all right, now that is done. Now, the second thing that we need to do is have a registration page, which I have right here, where what you're going to do is wherever you want the form, you're going to add a short code block and put in the short code. I'm going to update the page. All right, so now I'm going to show you the form. All right, so this right here is what the form looks like. Looks all right. So I will firstly show you what I was talking about when I said, you know, if the user is shipping to a different address, what that toggle is going to look like. So this right here is the toggle. And once they click on it, then, you know, all the shipping fields will be shown right here. But in this case, I'm not going to be using a different shipping address. So I'm not going to show you this, but yeah, you know, the process is pretty simple. You just have to drag in all the shipping fields and the separate shipping checkbox as well. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And now I'll show you what the registration process is going to look like for a user and what's going to happen during checkout. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'll open this in a new private window. All right, so here we go. Basically, a user lands into your registration page and then he or she fills out the form. Make sure his password is strong, right? That's important. Basically, fill out all the billing details, right? If they want to have a separate shipping address, then, you know, they can simply toggle this and then fill that out as well. But I'm not going to do that in this case. Basically, they'll fill it all out. And once done, they'll click on register. So there you go, registered. It shows that I'm currently logged in as this user right here. Now, I don't have a theme, so that's why the design is kind of messed up. So the user will get registered automatically depending on your WooCommerce setting. And, you know, they'll probably receive a mail. But yeah, right now, this is what it looks like. Now, I totally forgot what the name was. Was, but if we go into the back end, go into WooCommerce and then customers said this right here is the customer, the only customer we have said, so there you go. This is what it looks like. All right. So suppose one of these users that has already been registered to your site goes to checkout, right? So basically, you know, they go to your shop, they see a product that they like, they add it to cart view their cart and when they proceed to check out what's going to happen is so the billing address right here it's going to be already filled out for them if they want to make changes they obviously they can they can simply click on edit and then they can make the changes but yeah their contact information the billing address and in case you're shipping actual physical products then their shipping address would be filled in as well all their information is filled so they can simply choose their payment method and then they can place the order there you go the order has been received so this is how the plugin works to simplify the checkout process for your e-commerce store and yeah, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.